In this video, I'll show you how I make these cute mini animal keychain notebooks for my shop. I'm Erin from Nubby Notes, and let's get into it. For the keychains, I use these plastic covers from Spiral Bound Notebooks. I found that these aren't too flimsy, and they come in a variety of colors. It's fun being able to reuse these covers and transform them into something completely new. The notebook I'm currently working on is my bunny notebook but each of my notebooks are based off this mini notebook cover template that I made. If you're interested in the dimensions of this template, they are on the screen now. I use this same template for all of my animal keychain notebooks. And from the template, I'm able to customize each notebook into its cute little character. And I finish off with my corner punch to round the corners of each cover. From there, I use my template to punch the four holes into each cover. The holes measure about one centimeter apart and are one centimeter away from the bottom of each cover. I get a lot of excess paper when making my memo pads in the shop. So to put them to good use, I end up using them in my mini notebooks. Off camera, I've already cut these sheets down to size. And if you're interested, the dimensions for each sheet are on the screen now. For this project, I use 24 sheets. Next, I combine three of the folded sheets to make a total of eight signatures. Then I use my corner punch to match the rounded corners on the covers. I then combine the covers and the signatures to mark the binding holes. I use the binding holes on the covers as a guide to mark the signatures binding holes. I then took my awl and punched each hole, making sure to keep all the signatures in the same order as I marked them. Now, here's the tricky part. I'm a self-taught bookbinder and everything that you see me doing here, I've learned through the internet. So instead of having you sit here as I struggle to explain how to do Coptic stitch bookbinding, um, I'm gonna link my favorite bookbinding tutorial by C. Lemon. Be sure to check out the description box for that tutorial and a few other helpful Coptic stitch bookbinding tutorials. In the meantime, if you're more of a visual learner, you can enjoy the rest of my bookbinding here. And here's the result of the finished binding. Next, I'll be showing you how I make the notebook closure. I use two small jump rings and a clasp, some pliers, and an awl. I then used my awl and punched one hole at the top center of each cover.
Then I used my pliers with the small jump ring and pushed it through the hole. And next I added the clasp and took my other pliers to close the jump ring. With the second jump ring, I pushed it through the hole and hooked it on to the clasp. Then took my other pliers and closed the jump ring. And for the keychain, I used three medium jump rings, one large jump ring, and a lobster clasp. I took the large jump ring and hooked it in between the eight signatures. Then I combined two of the medium sized jump rings before adding it to the large jump ring. And finally I took the last medium sized jump ring, attached it to the lobster clasp, and then I added it to the rest of the keychain. Finally, for the fun part, I used sticker paper to design all the animal faces. I carefully attached each sticker with pliers. When I had first made these notebooks, I wanted to paint on the faces, but I eventually realized that paint rubs off pretty easily on the plastic unless it's primed. And that's how I make my mini animal keychain notebooks. I love how customizable these notebooks are. You can get pretty creative with them. Let me know what you think, and if you plan on making these keychains, be sure to tag me at Nubby Notes on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.